Come has the time, ladies and gentlemen, to open the Kai book. I can't wait to open him. Hello there. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Only One Kenobi, Only One. A much nicer day to film in here. The, the sky is bright. Brilliant. So I'm going to open the Kai book just behind the Kai book yesterday. In the timeline of things, I went down to Geeky Nerd Toys and I bought this. Regardless of it being 30th anniversary, of which I'm on a bit of a spree of 30th anniversary products, I just need this droid. So it was great to see that in there. Check out that video if you want to see it. It's had a lot of people viewing it so far. But first, I'll give you a look at the packaging and everything. So we'll look on the back. And I dare say, look at that beautiful artwork. Love the Gendy Tartakovsky Clone Wars. I've said that like a thousand times on this channel. Freeze frame that. What, what it is about this figure is that he is the first thing you see when the Clone Wars starts. It's a lovely long shot and you see it's like you can hear this what sounds like a tauntaun. <laughs> Followed by like fire across the galaxy. The Clone Wars spread. So he's really an important part of my Gandhi Tartakovsky shelf, which is this one here. So these are my prequels. You've got Phantom Menace and then you've got Attack of the Clones there. Two shelves for Attack of the Clones. And then you have Gandhi Clone Wars only there. I love Dave Filoni's Clone Wars, but all those figures are in their own section because there's loads of them. But for my chronological shelves, I only want to show the Gandhi stuff because in my opinion, that's the ultimate bridge between episodes two and three. And it ends with the kidnapping of Chancellor Palpatine there, which I've now got those guys on there. And then it starts with, as does the prowess. Of one Jedi in particular. That's my favourite Anakin figure, that. The Black Series second, second version of the Black Series one. And look, I've given him the mechanical arm there. As you see him right at the start. He's still got his Jedi braid. He hasn't had that cut off yet. And the Kai book is going to go here with Yoda. Yeah. Species unknown. Brilliant. And this is a bubble that is yellowing somewhat, as you can see. And this Yoda, I won't go into too many details now, but I will do a top to flop. It's a series I do where I look at, you know, the best figure I think that we have and look at then go back to the worst. So top to flop. And then, of course, he comes with this splendid beast, the Kai Buck. And I can't wait just to have him loose as well, man. Look at that. Tauntaun-esque. Creatures are something I never used to really collect, but I went there. You can see on the top shelf, this is my Tatooine shelves. All events and things that happen on the Tatooine. Um, the top shelf is all the creatures. We've got Tauntauns over there. Animals and creatures on these corner shelves I have. And you see you've got the, the Reek and such like. And you've got beasts, of course, on the top for the Nubian army. And then you've got a realistic depiction of them there. I mean, imagine that image in the Clone Wars, Star Wars Clone Wars. There's two different Clone Wars in TVC. You've got the Dave Filoni realistic cards like they did for Ewan and Hayden. And this image would work nicely in that style for the real life live action type thing. And then you've got the line of six figures they brought out for the Gendi animation. So that would be a nice image. It's just really sharp, the animation, I find. Right, so I've got the camera mounted. I'm going to get this open now, ladies and gentlemen. Before we go any further, I'm just going to give you your first taste. Nice lightsaber. Beautiful creature. Sadly, all the reviews on this guy are so old now on YouTube that it needs a bit of an update, dare I say, in the um, archives that we have here on YouTube. So I'm glad to open this and shoot him in natural light. Brilliant. And that creature is something else. Like a stoic, fierce looking beast. Looks like he's wise and intelligent as well. Probably why he likes him. Probably why he likes him, I don't know. Look at that. They don't make figures like this no more. And they're so affordable, man. This was, um, don't spend too much money on this. I got this for 20 pounds, man. Right, 
Tails in, legs on. Let's have a look at this beast first and look at his articulation. Or she never assumed the gender of the beast. That's a ball joint, man. That's a ball jointed focus. That's a ball joint head. And then it's a swivel here. Swivel there. Swivel there. Twisty. That's all you need him to do, isn't it? No other movements that I can see. What a great thing. Now, I can't wait to get him posed. I'll have him looking, looking at you like that with Yoda on him. Speaking of Yoda, let's have a look at this Yoda figure. Now, yeah, as I, as I saw in a few of the reviews I watched, I watched Darth Phoenix 619's video. Classic. And it was great to see Tony again talking talking figures. Um, has a kind of a holster on his back there. Can you see it? Weird, isn't it? But um, what's he got? can't get that head to move. I don't want to force it. I'm not too fussed. That, that sounds, yeah, it's a bull joint. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a bull joint on his uh, limbs as well there. Bull joint elbow there. Swivel on the hand there. Probably swivel on the toes. Let's try. It's very stiff plastic. It's because it's old. I can't, I can't tell. It looks like it would do. But I don't want to force the issue. I'm not that fussed. You know, whatever. There he is. I like the idea of not having the hood up on him because I want to see those ears. <laughs> is it possible to get his this hood on? You probably could. But I don't want to stretch it or force the issue. Incidentally, if you've got any questions about the articulation of any of these figures, please drop them in the comments and I will get back to you, hopefully. Now, he has a peg hole, as you can see. And I'm going to put his foot on that. Wow, look at him riding one foot. He's like surfing him, man. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Lake Glib. Well, I'm loving that, man. He's standing on him there. But you could probably have him riding him. Let's see if I can just get him sat on it. Yeah, so he's got, yeah, as you can see, he's got, that's another bit of articulation. He's got the swivel there. You could just sit on it like, look at that. <laughs> he looks great, this Yoda. Ah, thank God for that. This guy's got peg holes. I was going to say, bloody hell. I thought he would like balance, like, you know, you get the sweet spot of an ATST, but he's struggling. I have to lean forward. Can I get a balance? Come on, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've got him. There you go. So you can balance him, but it's not worth it, really. I've got a peg somewhere. And do you know what I've got, man? I've got these that are just sort of spare. You know, the 2005 Revenge of the Sith line, there's a lot of stands like these that you get that are a bit awkward with the figures they come with this might be perfect for him because it looks organic it looks like a terrain he could be running on and he only needs one really i don't want to, i don't fancy putting a figure stand like that on him make him look like he's i don't know surfing on a hoverboard or something but let's get him on this see what happens there you go how about that I've just got that melody in my head. <laughs> it's the music for Django's Escape, I think. Escape of a Bounty Hunter is a really good melody. It's a gr lovely, it's probably one of my favorite tracks on the Attack of the Clones soundtrack. And it's what they use to open. There's lots of music from Star Wars in the Gandhi Tartakovsky Clone Wars, but it's what they use to open the uh, whole series. Now, I love the idea that he's just on that now. It looks like he's about to dismount or something. So that's how I'm going to have him. That'll do me. I'm happy with that. Brilliant. I'm so glad I got this. Don't spend too much money on this, ladies and gentlemen. Be patient. You can get him around the £20 mark. Some people who want to sell this for 60 or 50 or something crazy, don't. Don't do it. You can get him affordably. And that is brilliant. I'm so glad I have this. And I've seen it before. Subconsciously, I've come across it and just thought, meh, moving on, because in the 30th anniversary, they've got tons of really obscure figures and characters and then they come with like mad accessories like Luke Skywalker comes with a evaporator 
And the thing about that Luke Skywalker figure is it's terrible, but you can head swap him. But the Vaporator alone is just incredible. So that's the deal. But with this, I've definitely seen him before, but just, you know, whatever. But now, because I'm going through this Gendy Tartakovsky push, I had to have this. And he does appear also later on in the... It's not the only time he's on the Kai book at the beginning. He's also on it during the Battle of Coruscant when he's with Mace Windu. So that's the deal. And I'm just going to stitch this footage in here. Post-production, I didn't show you the back of him. So there you go. You can see the back of Yoda. I showed you that before, but you haven't seen the back of the beast. Just to cover that, I thought I'd film this here a week after I filmed the original bit. <laughs> that is it, I'm just fascinated. I'm just filming this one shot here. I'm gonna get him on the shelf and then stay tuned for two more episodes featuring this guy. Not only my shelf indulgence, my tour of the Gendy Clone Wars, and I'll show you a little bit before and after. I will also do a top to flop, looking at the best of the worst figures for Yoda in three three quarter inch. Awesome. And there, from one prequels beast to another, here we have now Yoda and Kaibuk on my Gendy Tartakovsky Clone Wars shelves. In the background, you'll see those. Well, that guy's definitely at the beginning of the Gendy Tartakovsky Clone Wars 2. There's a load of clones wearing ponchos in a muddy terrain. Mud clones, if you will. And any other figure that I have related to Gendy are on the shelf, and that really does set it off, man. I love that. Brilliant. So happy to feature that here now. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Nice new addition to my prequel section. Do like and subscribe if you have enjoyed it. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out. <laughs>